with business experience in China, Africa, Australia, Chile, England, and other major countries. British economist Simon Hunt, who is located in Dubai, has a distinct advantage in the global economy. In the same way that 1929 destroyed the Roaring Twenties, he sees something coming that, if it materializes, will completely demolish the bull market of the previous 10 years. Of course, the collapse of the economy will also occur at the same time as this event. Hello everyone and welcome to Money Monsters. Before we get into Simon Hunt's theory, you should go click the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this one. It would greatly help our channel grow. Thank you all so much and let's get right into today's topic. So, Hunt has a timeline for how this will take place up until the implosion of a depression, which he forecasts will happen in 2025. Although he believes that there are many factors at work in this situation, everything begins with the simple premise that a war is in progress. When he uses the word war, he means that other countries besides Russia and Ukraine, who are in actual war, are engaged in hostilities too. Not to sound too involved in politics, but we all recognize that other important countries are involved as well, each of them supporting a specific country that is their pawn in the game. However, what connection does the war have to the financial and economic systems? According to Hunt, the Federal Reserve, which is the major controlling force in financial markets and the economy as a whole, will need to review its policies in light of this conflict. The Federal Reserve is currently contracting money and removing it from the economy, a process known as quantitative tightening. Hunt predicts that the Fed will change its stance and return to quantitative easing, or injecting money into the system rather than withdrawing it in the near future. This will happen, according to Hunt, not only as a result of the war, but also due to an accident that is going to take place in the financial markets. There will be repercussions from this QE as well. Hunt anticipates that stock prices will soar once more until 2025, following this brief setback in the financial markets. With the Fed switching to QE, the extra cash will enter the market and raise prices. The S&P will essentially double in value. He does, however, forecast that the stock market would crash once stocks have risen to 6,000 by about 2025, wiping out not only the economy but also the whole stock market. When asked if he thinks that the market will come down because of that occurrence, he answers that the recovery over the next two years should be used to save you during the depression. That is a major arc in his stock market prediction. He predicts that it will first decline as the economy enters a recession. Then, when the Fed begins to engage in quantitative easing, he believes it will soar above 6,000 before seeing a sharp decline when the Second Great Depression hits. Obviously, if his market arc proves to be accurate, the best course of action is to buy while the market soars up to 2025, before you sell when the depression comes. However, the problem is that this could present a significant issue. If Hunt's forecast is accurate and the S&P 500 were to increase to 6,000, it's only best that you acquire high growth inventive stocks. However, you should avoid being the last person to leave the dance floor when the depression and market crash both occur. That is known as timing the market, and it is a risky game to play. But each person has a different approach. Pick yours carefully. Hunt has a forecast for the US dollar as well. According to him, it will experience ups and downs in the near future, but will gradually deteriorate over time. The explanation is that it loses value each year as a result of money printing. He claims that if you look at a $1980 dollar today, it is only worth 25 cents. He continued, Do investors want to keep acquiring a currency that loses value annually? They want worth. They will logically have to abandon the dollar and search for other currencies that don't depreciate. He claimed that the inflation increase we have been witnessing since 2020 is just the beginning. We will see two waves, the first of which is smaller in size following the recent decline in inflation. 
Hunt predicts that a new wave will emerge that will surpass the current rate of inflation. The fact is that it would take us going back 40 years to experience inflation levels this high. According to him, the US CPI in 2025 would likely surpass its 1980 peak of 13.5%. That's exactly what happened in the 1970s and the first part of the 1980s. You first experienced the first wave and by the years 1978, 1979, and 1980, you also went through the second wave, the devastating wave. Things move more quickly now. Waiting four or five years is not an option for you. This will cause U.S. Treasury bonds to default around the middle of 2024 at a rate of about 11% plus, which will be a crucial factor in destabilizing the financial markets. Along with this, he predicts that the conflict will continue to rage and that the markets suffering from rising treasuries would result in the next Great Depression. The global financial system is now expected to collapse as we see it, with asset prices plummeting at rates similar to those of 1929 and 1932. As a result, copper and other commodities and metal prices will also collapse. If one goes a step further, this results in a global financial system with several currencies and a situation where equity rather than debt drives economic expansion. He does, however, mention the Gleisberg cycle in conjunction with his prediction of a slump. This cycle is expected to begin in 2025. When the cycle last occurred in 1936, it was referred to as the Dust Bowl Decade. An expert meteorologist who has a very good track record of accuracy has predicted that the Gleisberg cycle which lasts 90 years will begin in 24 or 25 years. The 1930s' Dust Bowl was the last time we witnessed that. The probability that this will occur is unknown. However, if the Gleisberg cycle is real, the U.S. Midwest would typically be affected. The Midwest region of the U.S. produces a lot of agricultural goods. And this supports Hunt's forecast that food prices will rise sharply in the coming years. If his predictions come true, we can expect to see the following things in addition to the predicted depression. Inflation exceeding what it was in 1980, treasures of 11% or more, skyrocketing food costs, and a mini stock crash which will be followed by a bull run of 6,000 points accompanied by a major crash in 2025. Of course, we're all hoping he's mistaken about that. He's making a lot of assumptions in this prognosis, which is extreme. His total forecast may be ruined if he turns out to be mistaken about one of his assumptions. Will the Fed, for instance, genuinely change its monetary policy? Will inflation actually rise over the level it reached in 1980? Will 2025 see the Gleisberg cycle actually occur? These are the queries that we ought to be posing. Simon Hunt lives in Dubai, has experience around the globe, and has conducted business in the key trading nations, puts him in a unique position to make these forecasts. So they are qualified to some extent. He also has insights into issues like the war and the international trade, which is what most common people making assumptions about the market don't have. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Again, if you like this video, please don't forget to give the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.